I'm Mark McGowan from the Department of History at the University of Toronto and I'm rather blustery day here at the waterfront in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Uh, and I'm standing beside uh, a monument erected not that long ago to commemorate uh, the dead from the Irish famine who migrated to British North America and uh, over 1,200 died here uh, in Kingston. Uh, we're not far from where the fever sheds uh, were. Once the passengers in Kingston were landed at Brewery Wharf, uh, the sick ones were taken not far from here uh, at the corner of Emily and King Street today, very close to a residential neighborhood in the then small town of Kingston. Uh, and it was there that close to a thousand uh, Irish migrants, both Catholic and Protestant, uh, perished uh, in the summer and fall of 1847. Uh, those uh, who were able to move on went farther inland to places like Toronto and Hamilton. Um, others, uh, particularly orphans, at least 71 of which were taken care of here at the Hotel Dieu by the Hospitaller Sisters of St. Joseph. Others were sent uh, with their mothers to the House of Industry uh, that was erected in the town by the end of the year. And others went to the fledgling General Hospital hospital uh, where they were treated in a very small uh, facility. Um, Kingston is often forgotten because it lies between Montreal and Toronto, two centers that get a great deal of attention with regard to their contributions to uh, the, the famine migration and the relief uh, of those refugees. But here in Kingston in the summer of 1847, when the population practically doubled uh, because of the influx of refugees, Catholics, Protestants, civic officials, uh, church persons, all rallied to the cause to alleviate the suffering of these Irish migrants.